Okay, hi guys. I wanted to put up a video talking about just my initial thoughts on Dragonflight. So this is the first expansion that I've been extremely, extremely casual. I feel like after leveling to 70, which was very, very short, I spent maybe two and a half days playing about three to four hours each and it felt really fast. I think part of the reason for that also is dragon riding. Dragon riding at first is frustrating in my opinion because you start off with only three vigor and um, a lot of the dragon glyphs are really, really high up. So you have to sit and wait on the side of a mountain until they refresh and then you can keep going higher and higher. And for a while, I felt like I didn't want to collect the rest of the glyphs because I was worried that it would just feel like that the whole time where I would be sitting on the mountain waiting for the recharge for every single glyph. But after a certain point, um, it actually does become pretty fast where you're able to maintain your high speeds and the recharge while just flying through the zone and collecting all of them at once. So it didn't feel as bad after a while. My biggest complaint with dragon riding is the fact that I don't get to use my brutal nether drake anymore. So it does make me sad because I love this mount and I love to just always use it. Um, there might be only like, I think, one dungeon that I can think of that lets you use ground mounts the rest of the time. You can't mount otherwise places like no kid, no, not could offensive. That one you need to use dragon riding for it. So, um... I did see on Reddit that a lot of people seem to really like dragon riding. I just feel like for me, the core gameplay of WoW is all about just playing your class and doing dungeons. So dragon riding feels kind of minor and it's not something that I overly care for. I'm just, I'm really just neutral about it. Aside from that though, I really have not been doing much in game. That's why I say I've been playing extremely, extremely casual, but also because nothing has come out yet. There's no Mythic Plus or there's no arenas, but I don't plan on doing PvP. So for me, I primarily have been leveling professions, even though the gating of the professions is kind of annoying where sometimes when I'm trying to experiment, I explode and then I have to wait four hours before I can do it again. And then also for engineering, uh, I'm pretty much stuck at this point. I can only use these expensive recipes to try to level it, but at this point, I don't really think I'm going to bother. Um, I realized that one of the most important engineering items for Mythic Plus is going to be that mass res little item that you place near people's bodies and i already wasted my knowledge in the wrong specialization and i didn't realize that so that's gonna be very annoying world quests i have not unlocked i didn't finish the campaign and honestly i don't plan on it i will never do world quests ever again anything chore related in this game i'm not going to do so there's actually a really good alchemy trinket from uh, this reputation in for Maruk Centaur. It's called Alchemist Stone or something, and it might be best in slot, but I'm not going to farm for it. <laughs> Anyways, let's go on to talking about Disc. I think that I will primarily start off with Disc, and if for some reason Holy ends up becoming stronger than Disc, then I would definitely switch over. But I do think... Once again, at the start, I will most likely heal Mythic Plus just because I don't trust the other healers. I think it is usually very hard to come across a healer that I really like. And also, yeah, I feel like the fact that Disc contributes a lot of good DPS still <laughs> makes me feel like I'm competing on DPS in a sense, even though obviously I'm not. But this is the primary build I was using towards the end so i was experimenting a little bit i was trying out these three even though i feel like these don't feel as good when you're not shadow because you only have two shadow spells you can use to prolong mind bender mind blast and shadow or death and both of those are not too short of a cooldown so i just i didn't really feel like i liked this very much i feel like twilight equilibrium is really good when you're trying to do damage and actually that's something that i want to mention 
this build is definitely not going to be a Mythic Plus pushing build. I have this build set the way it is right now because content is easy. Mythic Zeros are not hard. So my main focus whenever I do Mythic Zeros right now are try to do as much damage as I can. And I feel like I do like this build. I will most likely keep it until I feel like I need to play more defensive. So only when I start reaching a bit more challenging hierarchies, I will definitely change things around. I really like this one, Harsh Discipline. Every four casts of Smite, you get a free penance that fires additional three bolts. That's actually a lot of healing and damage. So that coupled with Wheel and Woe, they just sync up really well together, right? Because you're using Penance and you're using Smite. So Penance will increase the damage of Smite. And then this causes your Penance to deal more damage and you get a free one. And four casts of Smite are really fast. Also, this Talent Train of Thought causes your Penance to be up more often, right? So you've got this really nice synced up talent spells where this one causes your penance to have more bolts this one reduces the cooldown of penance from smite and then this one is just like it's like a recursive loop you know <laughs> and uh in some of my dungeons i've just felt like wow penance comes up really fast and it is really also your great healing spell through atonement um it does a ton of healing every single time you use it okay so Quickly talking about the pre side, I still need to figure out whether Prayer of Mending is worth grabbing because something like this might not be necessary. I could always remove this and grab Prayer of Mending if I feel like it. It's just I'm not used to having Prayer of Mending as disc for a while, so I am not remembering how much healing it does actually. Although having it during anything that has a lot of AoE, which I'm sure there will be plenty, will be very useful. A talent like this, I can find it being useful, but it might not be entirely worth it. I think that improved master spell will also be situational depending on the dungeon. So some dungeons might not even have any use for it. So you could remove it. That will come with familiarity with dungeons. Um, I do think having mind games and shattered perception could be nice just because mind games when you use it it does amount to a lot of healing so that could help a lot when you need aoe healing although it is a pretty long cooldown although manipulation syncing up with all these talents on the right side will greatly reduce the cooldown. I actually haven't checked to see how low it can get, especially if you have PI running and heroism and whatever. I still need to figure out which of these talents are best because power word life, my logic behind that one is that I'm just imagining during fights that have a lot of AOE damage, um, as disc, we don't have any big heal that we can apply to somebody like Serenity as Holy. So I just feel like when people dip low and you're able to power board life with a 10 second cooldown, you might be able to keep people topped off or like prevent them from dying. Just having that one high healing spell could be useful as disc because that's something that we lack. But also... I think it can be tricky too because you can either use it all the time on 30 second cooldown or you could only use it when people are below 35 percent health i did create a weak aura that will tell me it will show up if anybody is under 35 percent including myself to remind me to use it because when you just go by looks it can be really hard for you to know whether someone's under that number so i'd rather just have a visual to definitively let me know but Void Shift, I do feel like that could be useful, but I haven't played with it enough to be very fast at reacting with it to feel comfortable. So, I don't know. Uh, these talents will definitely change later on, but this is just what I'm starting off with right now. Once things start to get more difficult, I can see myself taking a talent like this. I would most likely take this one because Power Word Shield, you're using it frequently. So reducing the cooldown, in my opinion, is better than giving them a heal when you use paints up because i feel like usually paints up is for the reduction you don't really need the heal um rather the reduced cooldown i feel like can be far more useful because then you can use paint suppression more often 
Okay. On the other hand, there are definitely times where I miss playing Holy because Holy reminds me of the play style of the older times. And there is actually an aspect of Holy that makes me feel a little guilty because I feel like in recent expansions, there has been such a focus on healers dealing damage, just like the play style of Discipline. But back then, I feel like the way that you would play is that you would either precast the heal on your tank. That way you have a heal landing exactly when they need it. Or you would cancel that cast, right? There wasn't as much emphasis on dealing damage during the times when nobody's taking a damage. Healer didn't always spend all of their time spamming damaging spells. But now I feel like that's how you should play. But the thing is, Holy is a reactive spec where you don't really cast anything on people until they take damage, right? So if you are busy doing damage sometimes, especially when keys get harder and you have to have that fast reaction time to get people healed, it could be problematic if you're in the middle of a cast or something and you need to cancel and then just be able to react. I do kind of hope though that Holy has a purpose in some of these dungeons just because I do enjoy playing the spec. Um, it is rather different than disc, but uh, it just feels more traditional healing to me than Disc is. And also, I could see this talent being extremely useful in Mythic Plus. This was the spec I was playing with for a bit, but I actually don't really know how much I like it. I was actually trying out Lightwell for a little bit just because reading about it being automatic and how they have changed it a bit made me curious to see how I would feel about it. But the problem with Lightwell is that it only casts some people under 50%. And I would say that Holy playstyle being different than Disc, yeah, I just feel like people won't be under 50% too often outside of specific pulls, specific aspects of the boss fights, and or if you're falling behind on healing, which is not a good... Thing. <laughs> and also Lightwell has its other issues, right? Because it's dependent on where people are standing. And even when I play disc, I feel a little bit frustrated when I don't get atonement applied on everybody when I use radiance. So Lightwell will feel the same where I will try to place it in a good location, but there will always be that person who's standing in the middle of fucking nowhere and they're never going to get a benefit from it. The healing from it though, I would say is pretty good because there was this one boss fight that I had where there was a lot of AoE damage going off because we were not killing adds when we were supposed to. So we did end up wiping. But during that pull, Lightwell was number three on my healing meters. And that just looked pretty promising. But I think ultimately there is most likely not going to be a situation where Lightwell will ever be used. This divine word talent I actually haven't used yet in a dungeon but I actually think it does look very good because one minute cooldown is super short and if you couple it with apotheosis it could amount to a crap ton of healing but actually I don't really know if I have that much I can say about holy right now because I haven't really just played it that much Disc, I feel like since I played it a lot last expansion, I have a lot of familiarity with it. And also just the fact that with the current build that I had that I was showing you earlier, I feel like it's still fairly strong for healing purposes. But when healing doesn't need to be done, I am able to output a ton, ton of damage. And uh, there were times where I was even almost on par with the DPS in the group, but <laughs> once again, that's not really accurate because there's so many factors that could affect that gear. The player themselves might not be that good and familiar. As for Shadow, I unfortunately have not been playing it very much. Although just before I started recording this video, I did do a dungeon and Shadow actually didn't feel as bad as I thought. My main concern before was that there were too many buttons to press and that made me feel like it would be hard to fit in the Void Bolt, um, cast your two charges of Mind Blast, get your Devouring Plague in. Just, um, I was worried that it would just feel too convoluted 
But during that run, it really didn't feel so bad. Um, that run was not smooth for me, obviously, because I didn't play Shadow in any dungeons oh, at all once I hit 70. I have been primarily healing. So I just wanted to give it a try and see also to see what my damage would be like compared to everybody else. Um, I am 365.5 item level, which I guess is pretty much the highest you can kind of go if you're only doing dungeons. I don't have any crafted gear in terms of like epic crafted. Um, I would say once you first get to 70, it's not too hard to gear up. You can buy a lot of 330, 340 stuff off the auction house that wasn't terribly expensive. But I think even if it was a little bit higher, I would have been willing to spend on it just because my mentality now when it comes to wow is not time time is really valuable to me so instead of spending the time farming for something i would rather spend the time buying it off the auction house in terms of the final tier for shadow it's hard for me to know which one is really best I think I'm really just going to reserve that for people who do the numbers because you really just need to compare which one is going to be um, most uptime, so efficiency and just damage and a Oops, totally ran into that. <laughs> <sighs> wow, that uh, red is not doing a lot. Damn, <laughs> I feel like this red is gonna make me want to play Shadow. Hmm. Which isn't a bad thing, but. Hmm. I should be using my, oh, my fucking uh, mind break, mind whatever, mind bender, sorry, that's what it's called, it's a short cooldown. I shouldn't worry so much about how long it's alive when mobs like that are almost dead, that's why I didn't want to use it there.
Hmm, right before the boss. Do I want to use my cooldown? Nah, I'll hold my cooldowns. Actually, that proc of the free uh, Devouring Plague is nice. Mechanics for this. Where's the okay? I gotta look up that mechanic because I I thought that it would be like heavy dot from just having it stay on you the whole time, but I'm sure there's uh it's it's just like what I remember from previous mechanics that makes me think that way. Okay, we're still going. The hell? I don't want to say that I'm doing well because I don't think I am because I don't feel fluid with what I'm using with my stuff. Uh, I think it's more likely that people in this run are either undergeared or don't play that well because I really don't think I'm playing like amazing to the point of having this amount of damage unless Shadow is actually not bad, but still. Just want to make sure people are aware. Definitely not playing the spec amazing whatsoever.
Oh, a giant race. I was wondering if I could mind sue that. Let's just fucking pull it separate. Some people are just <laughs> unnecessary. It's a fucking mythic zero, you know? guy honestly well I don't remember any of them really wait 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 what yeah I'm pretty sure somebody else pulled the boss because I thought we were gonna do him here I'll use a uh Help you out a bit. Go back up, Three seventy? Three seventy? And he's doing that damage? What about you? Three forty six, okay. Mage I can understand, but what the fuck? The pally should be doing way more. I am three sixty five. He's even more geared than I am. So I don't know what the fuck is going on with him. This way. <laughs> Thank God tanks know the way.
<laughs> I was hoping he would die before that went off. Motherfucker, move for my shadow crash. Damn it. All oh, right. We're supposed to do some looting shit on the side. 